So you went on a trip from where you live, Boston, to L.A. last week. I think you did some videos on your channel. Yep. And how easy was it to get a flight? Because I've watched videos from airplane channels, and they're showing pictures of hundreds of planes parked on runways because there's nowhere else to put them. So how well, did you get a flight? Obviously, when people have um, – uh, staying in because they're scared the demand is going to be down from the airlines, right? I, you it's know how down ninety nine percent. The guy said the number you know of flights is down ninety nine percent. I told the guy in Walmart the story. I was talking to him about the virus and uh, you know just trying to wake him up a little bit. I've been trying to talk to a lot of people like in person when I see him, and um, especially if they have a mask on. And then I was like, hey, do you know I just flew here? For, this is like a few days ago. I'm like, you know I just flew here from Boston. And he's like, how did you do that? Just like you said. It said, ancient secret, man, Priceline.com. That's how I did it. I went on Priceline. Okay. I ordered the ticket. Oh, listen, I ordered the ticket the night before. I did the mobile boarding pass like you always do. I went to the airport. And you know what pr- restrictions and precautions they had? None. Nobody even asked me a question. Nobody said, where you going? Where you been? You been around anybody sick? In fact, the only question I was asked is, can I have your ID, please, sir, when I got to the security checkpoint? Easiest trip through security ever. The airport was virtually empty. And there also should be noted that there is no uniformity between what they were wearing for masks. So you would see some employees with, some without, and many of them in the same area together. Like you would see two people at a ticket counter, one with a mask, one without. The cops didn't have any. And when I got on the plane, which was the easiest flight ever, um, three of the four stewardesses had them on. One didn't. The pilot didn't. In fact, any of the captains I saw walking through the airport did not have a mask on. So, I mean, wouldn't it, uh, planes flying people across the country with stewardesses or flight attendants and, and captains getting on and off to go to hotels and restaurants and eat and do all this? Shouldn't they be the first people to wear a mask? Well, they don't. So none of these people are really afraid. And I asked the woman on the plane, one of the flight attendants, what's up? Go ahead. How busy was the plane? How many people that were on? I want to say there was probably between 30 and 40 people, maybe, at the most. And the plane back, though, had a lot more, maybe like 60 people. Okay, was it half full? Or no, no. I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking a plane probably has like 200 seats, right? I mean, I don't know how many seats are on a plane. I'm thinking it was like 30 well, out there's of 200. Lots, there's lots of different planes. But yeah, just, well, just eyeballing it, did it look half full? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. 20% maybe, if that. Oh, okay. Well, that's super empty. Very, very, very empty. And the only precautions they were doing, alleged precautions, is if you wanted to be socially distant from another person, they would move your seat. And the people on there, they, man, there was one guy on there. He had the full mask with the respirator over his mouth. He had these goggles over his eyes, like James Worthy goggles. Like, it was crazy, man. But no, 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 um, no, nothing for me. They didn't ask me anything. They didn't ask me anything when I got off. I, I had the easiest trip through security. Same thing.